Hello guys, welcome back to the Seven Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily Seven Engineering videos. In today's lecture, we are going to differentiate between the short column and long column. So, I will explain this difference with the help of an example, so it will be more easy to understand. So, let's consider that we have here a length of the column is 8 meter, or the height of the column is 8 meter, and the cross section of the column, if we consider this is the width of the column, or the breadth of the column, equal to 400 millimeter and this is the width or the depth of the column equal to 500 millimeter so this is the cross section of the column and the height or the length of the column is 8 meter so how we can differentiate this is a short column or long column so it can be differentiated by a ratio of effective length of column that the effective length of column dividing by the dividing by the least literal dimension least literal dimension so if I explain it more so R R is the ratio equal to effective length effective length means LE dividing by the least literal dimension means the B so in our case for example this is a fixed in column we have different types of the column for example the pen in column and then pen in column is a type of a column then we have a fixed in column and also there are various other types of the column so in our case for example this is a fixed in column it means that both ends of the fake of the column are fixed and also the effective length of this type of the column in this case in fixed in column where our column is a fixed column for example in our case let's suppose it's a fixed in column in our case the effective length represented by LE will be equal to the 0.5 into L so LE in our case will be equal to the 0.5 multiplying by the length of the column or the height of the column which is 8 meter so 8 it comes out to be 4 meter so in our case the effective length of the column is 4 meter what is mean by effective length of the column it means that this is the column for example in our case this is the column so this is the 8 meter length of the column it is 8 meter it is the total length of the column so effective length means that it will buckle only only 8.5 L this is the effective length it is equal to the 0 0.5 into L so it means the buckling length of the column will be equal to the half of the length so 0.5 into length or 0.5 into 8 meter here so we got 4 meter so it means only at the center of the column this 4 meter length is effective length or the buckling length so just to explain what is effective or the buckling length here so in our case it is effective length comes out to be 4 meter because it's a fixed ended column when it is a pin ended column in this case the effective length is equal to the simple length of the column there is no reduction of the column in the length in the effective length of the column so here effective length in our case is 4 meter dividing by the least little dimension it means the minimum dimension in cross section so 400 millimeter and 500 millimeter so of course the minimum is 400 millimeter or if we divide this by 1000 so we got 0.4 meter so here is 0.4 meter so meter meter will be cancelled we got here 10 so it means 10 r is equal to the 10 so now it is a short column or long column so how we can describe when the ratio r is greater than the 12 we call such type of column is a long column and when this ratio r is less than 12 we call such type of column is short column so in our case this ratio is 10 which means which is less than the 12 so in our case r is equal to the 10 which is less than the 12 it means our column is a short column so this column is a short column now if we change the length of the column for example this length is now not 8 meter but for example this is 10 meter so now again if we find out the ratio so ratio is equal to the effective length of the column dividing it by the least little dimension so 
effective length will become L is equal to 0.5 into L. So L comes out to be 0.5 into 10 comes out to be 5 meter is effective length. 5 meter is effective length divided by the least little dimension which is 0.4 meter. 0.4. So we got ratio of 12.5. Now 12.5 ratio is greater than the 12 here. So we call such type of column will be a long column. A long column. So it totally depends on the ratio of effective length and the least little dimension. So by changing this ratio, we changing the type of the column. For long column, when the ratio is greater than the 12, we call it long column. When it is less than the 12, we call it short column. So I hope you guys understand and don't forget to subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. Thank you for watching our video.